The milestone of becoming a teenager is something to celebrate, but a mom from Augusta couldn't afford to throw her son a 13th birthday party. The family has huge medical expenses because J.C. Giroux has severe epilepsy and autism. So Amber Winters turned to social media to help make her son's upcoming birthday special. What happened next is nothing short of miraculous. New Center's Vivian Lee has the story from Augusta. This Facebook post started it all. I figured, you know, my friends and family would send him cards and it would, it would make him feel special. Amber Winters just wanted to celebrate her son's milestone of becoming a teenager. James, who goes by JC, is turning 13 on Saturday. The seventh grader has epilepsy and autism. In the past year, his seizures have become more frequent and intense. Changes in medication and other health expenses left no money for the party he dreamed about. I'm not going to be able to throw this big teenager party he wanted so bad. Then the card started showing up. This one is from Caroline in Farmington. Have lots of fun the whole day through. Happy birthday. Kids sent homemade cards. Others portrayed JC as a superhero. This is just a fraction of the hundreds of cards and notes sent in from strangers across Maine and New England. JC is making sure he reads every single one. Hope your 13th birthday is the coolest that you've seen. Instead of a book last night, he took a stack of these to bed. This post has been shared nearly 10,000 times and has more than 5,000 comments, including from Australia and the United Kingdom. That compassion is contagious. Laura Benedict saw the post on her news feed while on vacation in the Bahamas. This is exactly what I live for. This is what I live for. Benedict is the owner of the Red Barn restaurant. The eatery is throwing a birthday party for JC with food and balloons on Sunday. Now, unbeknownst to the owners of this iconic Augusta restaurant, chicken from the Red Barn is JC's all-time favorite food. In fact, last year when he was hospitalized following several severe seizures, it was the only thing he would eat. And that's what the season's about. That's what Maine's about. An outpouring from strangers. JC's parents say they hoped for, but never expected. I prayed, and this miracle was bestowed upon him in the form of kindness from so many people. A great Day. Birthday wishes lifting up a sick boy. Happy birthday. Through tough times. In Augusta, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Oh, yeah. Along with those cards and birthday greetings, strangers have donated nearly $1,000 to JC's family. His mom hopes to use some of the money on presents and possibly a college fund. A GoFundMe account has also been set up to help with JC's birthday and Christmas celebrations.